everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beulah Thomas. In today's video, we're going into the kitchen and we're gonna clean a kitchen appliance. This kitchen appliance is used in most homes quite frequently. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, it is the toaster. We, we use a toaster to toast our bread, pita bread. Some people even put a sweet potato in it. I tend to like toast our frozen waffles or pancakes. It definitely helps us a lot to make breakfast time run smoothly but how often do we clean it and it's been a while since I've cleaned my toaster so I thought I'll record the process show you how easy it is it doesn't take a long time just a few minutes to get to it depending on how clean or dirty it is so I'm gonna walk you through the process make sure you give this video a like if you enjoy it and don't forget to leave me a comment below because I always love reading feedback all right let's get started with the cleaning all right so here is our toaster that we're going to clean today we use our toaster most days and we definitely put it to good use and so i think it's time that we give it a good clean not just on the outside but also we're going to go through the inside and give it a clean as well let's have a look at the cleaning supplies i'm using today so i'm just using four things a toothbrush a microfiber cloth a glass of clean water and some dish soap that's it the first thing to do before you get into cleaning is to unplug that toaster Just to help with the cleaning, I'm using some paper towels and I'm gonna put that under the toaster so it can contain all of the crumbs and any other dirt. I'm using a wet microfiber cloth to wipe out the crumbs from the tray. If the tray in your toaster is a bit dirty, you can just wash it with some regular dish soap and make sure you dry it before you return it back to the toaster. Next, flip your toaster upside down and give it a good shake. I even tapped it on the sides to loosen up any of the bits that was stuck inside. After getting most of the crumbs out, I dipped the toothbrush in the cup of clean water so I didn't use any soap in it and I'm just gonna run it through the insides of the toaster and try to loosen it up this is a bit of a delicate job because you don't want to ruin the insides of your toaster so work carefully and slowly and patiently that's what I'm gonna say and try to get through all of the little grooves around the metal on the inside and try to get most of the bits out While I'm cleaning the inside of my toaster, I've got a question for you. When was the last time you cleaned your toaster? Are you the kind of person who maintains it quite frequently? Or is it in a pretty pathetic condition? Let me know in the comments below. So we really tried our best to get you guys the best shot of the inside of my toaster. It was a bit complicated, but I really hope you got an idea of what we're trying to do here. So I just kept dipping the toothbrush into the cup of water just so it was a little bit wet. And I just gently went through on the insides all around inside of my toaster to get all of the bits out and again i flipped the machine one more time try to get more as you can see there's more right there on my kitchen towel also if you're new here and if this is your first time watching my video welcome to my channel don't forget to check the rest of my videos and while you are here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on you don't have to do this because it's actually a little hard, but I did try to put that microfiber cloth through just to sort of dry the insides of my toaster as well also to catch any of the leftover crumbs. So that's what I'm doing here. I gave the toaster another good shake to get any of the last bits and now it's time to clean the outside of the toaster. So I add the tiniest bit of dish soap into that glass of water, give it a good shake and then I'm just gonna wet my microfiber cloth and then wipe out the outside of my toaster. Using the toothbrush to get all of the crumbs, it's really hard to lift it off with a microfiber cloth. So just using a toothbrush really helped to bring all of that dirt out. 
One thing to keep in mind if you're planning to clean your toaster this week is that you can't use your toaster straight away. You need to give it time to completely dry up. So doing it straight after breakfast time or right before you go to bed is the best time to do it. There you have it, my cleaned out toaster. Definitely recommend it if your toaster is in need of some cleaning. As you would have seen, it is not complicated. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. So if you've got about 15 minutes to spare this week, why don't you pull out that toaster and give it a good clean? Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching me clean my toaster and you're planning to do that, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any other kitchen appliance that you want me to clean and record, do let me know in the comment section below as well. I look forward to seeing you with a brand new video next Wednesday. Bye-bye.